Okay, so while this meme is still going, I thought I would do another one of these playthrough videos. This one is a rare treat. This is the unfinished Llama Masters 3, which was never released to anybody as far as I can remember. Um, I don't remember a lot about this game, but it was made quite a while after all of my other ZZT games and after ZZT had sort of stopped being... Whoa. <laughs> yeah, ZZT had sort of faded from the consciousness, at least of the people that I was in contact with, but for some reason I was... Uh, packing up my old games into like an archive uh, of the ones that still existed that I hadn't lost to hard drive crashes or whatever and while doing that I got inspired to uh, try to continue the Llama Masters series and this was the result. Of course it was never finished but as you can see I got a little fancy with the title screen here with the guys playing ping pong and crazy glowy colors and yeah I really don't remember a lot about this so we'll just see what happens I'm not gonna read all the dialogue this time because that made the first commentary take too long and you can probably read it on the screen if you really care that is no longer my email address so don't email me there Oh yeah, you play a, a female protagonist in this one, because I was being very progressive. I'm not going to get dressed. <laughs> okay. So I guess the, the reason I made a female protagonist was so you could wander around naked. Apparently I didn't feel like making anything in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Like many ZZT games, you start off waking up in your bedroom. designer lion-shaped toilet. I feel like I stole that phrase from some other game, but I can't remember which one. Unsightly bathtub ring is from uh, the Ninja Turtles movie, I believe. She, um, April uses that as an excuse. Uh, one of the turtles is hiding in the bathtub and the guy opens the curtain and she says, I didn't want anyone to see my unsightly bathtub ring because the, the turtle in question is now, like, up on the ceiling. I'll get dressed now. I'm just wandering around and touching things. Oh, I guess it's a waterbed, ha ha ha. Because I like uh, putting stupid little messages in for people who wander around touching everything. Oh, that's from the Clue movie. Huh, I don't know if there's any significance to that. Robert Plant. Uh, that lousy house plant is a Simpsons quote. I don't remember the context, though. Oh, it's when he's, Homer's like, the only thing I'm fit to take care of is a house plant, and then the house plant's dead, so he says lousy house plant and, like, strangles it. Sleeping in a drawer, another Simpsons reference. 
I don't know why the so many Bob Dole references. I guess I thought Bob Dole was funny, although I never actually uh, paid much attention to politics. Haha, <laughs> see, this isn't uh, actually a plant. It's Yenrab, because it's eh, the symbol for... Yeah, never mind. Uh, some guys have abducted me. I wonder what that scroll is. So, I'm in prison, apparently. So this guy let me out for some reason. Oh, he wants me to unlock everybody else. I wonder what, what happens if I don't... I really have no memory of uh, whether I accounted for that or what. Let me save just in case. Boy, I really... Wait, that one doesn't make any sense. Robert Plant wasn't in The Who. I don't know if you can hear that, my cat is making noise. Tunnel to China. I guess I can't take the tunnel. Okay, so a combination Aqualung and Beavis and Butthead reference. I Make, made a lot of meaningless pop culture references in lieu of actual jokes. And this guy is amused by his giving me ammunition. Okay. This guy just tells me to shut up. I, okay. Don't know the significance of this. Now... I can go up there, or I can go through the passage. Oh, dudes. I guess I'll go this way. Ah. That phrasing is from one of the Zelda games, I think, probably Link to the Past. Okay, I guess I have to go the other way, but I have a feeling those guys are going to instant death me or something. And they did. Okay. Oh, maybe I can, now that I have the guy's ammo, I can take the, uh, tunnel to China. Oops. Yes, I'm a genius. Wow. As you can see, I, uh, actually put some effort into using the S tool K, uh, for this. Although <laughs> it looks like I, I got lazy on this board.
Bob Dole is in cahoots with Al Gore. I guess this was topical at the time. Your, wow, your mission is to kill Al Gore and Bob Dole. Oh yeah, in this one you don't play as me, you play as the new uh, white llama on a blue background. Coke machine. This is incisive commentary. And I guess these are pictures representing the ex-llamas. This ping pong table I must have been proud of because I had it <laughs> on the title screen as well as here. <laughs> Bank, I mean White House. I'm actually impressed with this uh, art here. This is more than I would have thought I was capable of. Oh, naked girls welcome. I shouldn't have gotten undressed. I mean, dressed. Huh. Oh, I guess... Yeah, whatever. Wow, this is definitely a big empty board syndrome. Hi, Al Gore. Ah, he's a plant. Wow, well, I'm kind of impressed that I came up with this many plant jokes. Well, I guess here's Al Gore. <laughs> the end. Oh wow. I redecorated the base. That does not compute a oh weight you're under arrest thing. I have a feeling that is a reference to something, but again, I can't remember what. Surely. Yeah, I really don't have any memory of this. It's like I'm playing this for the first time. Firebrand talking like Jar Jar Binks. JJ is a ping pong wizard. <laughs> Do these things change? No. Boy, a maze. Why did I put this in here? No one likes a maze. There's not even anything interesting about it. It's just a maze. Okay, there's one exit. 
guess I'll go there. Oh jeez, there's more boards of this? Huh, what's this? Oh, Miranda. She broke an ale, see, because she's a girl. <laughs> oh, that's a Dorito he's got there. I kicked her ass, though. She is from, uh, the... Oh, what's it called? Jim's story. About E3 and 8. Recommended reading. So our next mission is to get him some more Doritos, I guess. seems to be the case. I don't really know what I was trying to accomplish with this game. Oh, it's big, I'm serious. Classic reference to a Subway commercial. The big, big, big burger, big, 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 big burger, big, 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 big burger. Big, big. <laughs> I do enjoy the the secret llama base uh, with the big sign. Why is there a ruffian? <laughs> Bart Simpson is saying, "Oh, come on! I'll cheer you up." which is a soundbite that was in a Simpsons episode, but more importantly, it was in the uh, Bart Eyes um, application for Windows 3.1, which put a little Bart icon uh, in the corner that his eyes would follow your mouse cursor, and I think you could click on him or something, and it would say, oh, come on, I'll cheer you up, but it was played through the PC speaker, so it sounded more like... That's what I want to tell you. Double trouble. One ninety nine lizard grocery. I don't understand that. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes, especially when they're not actually funny, but I was telling Jessamine, I feel like my games are basically just vehicles for jokes that only make sense to me. Well, that's the, the tagline to the movie Clerks, but I don't know why creator is saying ha ha with the First HA in all caps. Alcoholic beverages. Angel 3 is telling Linz to stay away from Matt W. Matt W is telling Pie Man to stay away from Linz. Pie Man is constantly flirting with Linz. Pie Man needs more Mountain Dew. And he might as well buy some Surge. 
because he shouldn't be allowed to reproduce anyway. There was a an urban legend about Surge uh, lowering your sperm count. I don't know what this Pie Man Lynn's uh, Matt W. Angel 3 Love Square is, though. That probably meant something at the time. Jessamine is saying, mm, Frosted Flakes, wink. That's probably a reference to some kind of innuendo, but it's lost on me now. Oh no, the Doritos are not here. <laughs> oh, guess I'm in a boss fight now. Oops, I shot at him. God, I hate stars. WTF is stars lol. Well, I killed the three weird sisters, but the Doritos are nowhere to be found. Mystic. Wasn't that a drink or something? I'm not a vegetarian, but I sure do like my produce. Ah ha ha ha. I don't get it. Oh no, I'm fired. Well. Wow. <laughs> what is going on? I don't understand this game. <laughs> What? I'm so confused. I was listening to a lot of The Who at this point, apparently. Not apparently, I know I was. I don't know. I vaguely remember this board for some reason. I think this might have a lot of cameos in it or something. Scrumptious when it crumptious. That was the slogan for a Nestle Crunch. Oh, Pizza Hut Girl. I don't know if you remember, but when uh, Star Wars Episode One came out, uh, KFC and Taco Bell and Pizza Hut had like a joint marketing uh thing oh is this my cameo no <laughs> they had a uh, commercials where it was like the taco bell chihuahua and colonel sanders and pizza hut didn't have a, a mascot character so they just made up a pizza hut girl and she was hot i had a huge crush on her that's something. I don't know what. Benito Hoover. Isn't he from a... Uh, 1984 or Brave New World or something like that? This is bizarre. Are all these 
weird references with with no context. Like I recognize them as references to things, but I have no idea why they are in here. Normally it, it would sort of I mean it would be tenuous, but there would be some kind of connection explaining why they are being referenced, but I don't understand any of these. <laughs> Looks like uh, I may have started getting lazy around here. Bob Tower Tree Place. No. Why not? And give me something to go on. being naked let me get in that key room? <laughs> Apparently it did. I wonder if I planned to like replace that with a lusty dude or something and I just never got around to it. Well, what's up here? Fourth floor. Hmm. Oh, I have the cyan key. Not green. Magic fishy poo. I don't remember what that is. Of course I'll take the used Kleenex. Is this a lost woods? I wonder if these, if any of them actually go anywhere, or does it always just loop around? Maybe if I deposit the Kleenex in one of these trash cans. Haha. <laughs> this game is further along than I thought it was. Yellow key. Oh, that's purple. Sorry, I can't see these colors that well. Not because I'm colorblind, it's just low resolution. Not that there's anything wrong with being colorblind. that yet. Now I will. <laughs> Looks like it changed them all into fakes. Oh, I guess it's not actually a fake. That 
make it breakable. It's huh. a weird puzzle. This looks like a boss fight waiting to happen. Check out that perspective on the tower. <laughs> okay. That was a guy with his hair on fire. I guess that was Leonard. Oh, hello. I wonder if he said eek because I'm naked. This is obviously a reference to the Simpsons uh, My Sister, My Sitter episode. I wonder what would happen if I were not naked at this point. I have to win back the trust of the Great Lama. Kinky beans was JJ's catchphrase for a while. Beats hates chemistry. I guess... Let's see. What year was this? I must have been in or have recently completed a chemistry class. I know Beats was in it, and I guess he didn't like it. Adam didn't have a modem, uh, <laughs> obviously. He was a guy that I knew in, like, fifth grade, but then he, uh, moved to Arlington, Texas, and I lost contact with him because he didn't have a modem. Infiltrate Miranda's secret hideout in Wyoming. I think I'm nearing the end of this because I seem to remember an airport uh, being one of the last things that I was working on. I don't know what this... what's the deal with this Shirley character? What's the deal? Airport of the Damned. I'm guessing I had that character say that because I had drawn this airport in these gray colors and it looked more uh, somber than I'd been expecting. Well, that would not happen these days. Although I guess being naked would get you through uh, security pretty quickly. Legends of the Hidden Temple is cool. <laughs> I really enjoy uh, random NPC dialogue. A Barney fan, wow. Bringing back the old stuff. Sugar free gum, sure. 
don't know if that did anything. This table was made by Creator. Huh. Don't ask me. Yeah, this isn't the most useful commentary, maybe, because I don't remember any of this stuff. Main wing. Oh, wing. Huh. Mm, nothing. Pyrop. Why is he a renowned cosmologist? And why is he saying, hey, kids? Chewy 97. Oh, I might still have that picture somewhere. It's not actually porn, it's... I don't know what it is. But it was from uh, my friend's web server. Like, he had... I don't know. There was a whole Chewy series of photos that he had taken or that were like from a webcam or something and there were people like all cavorting around it, it was weird I don't understand what those were exactly apparently that's Leonard Deltry Airways, I think, was... Why would it be Deltry? I'm pretty sure that that is because in uh, mostly more pine powder strangers, the elementary school was called Devil Tree, and I think this was supposed to be sort of a weird pseudo-reference to that. It's also the a DOS command, obviously, but I don't know what that has to do with an airline. Ugh, a squalling baby. A pretty empty flight. <laughs> I guess that was something that was happening to me during the production of this game. Guess I had a problem with JJ's driving. Um, I don't have any keys, do I? Don't open this in the air, dingus. Designer lion shaped toilet. I wish I could remember where that phrase originated. Man, I was kind of perving out on this game. Okay, um. Oh. I keep thinking that I've reached the end of what I had made, but there's always more. <laughs> Apparently we just fell out of the sky. Take that, Matt Williams. Matt Williams was a guy... I don't know what happened to him. He was, uh... made a lot of games with really elaborate graphics. It was sort of his claim to fame. He also had a, a website called MWorld. Main. 
it wasn't actually called M World Main, but it the title of the page said M World and then in parentheses Main. By title I mean the you know, the HTML title tag markup thing. Farmer Geoff. I know it's Jeff, but I always think of it as Geoff. I think that's a Space Ghost reference, and that Joe Piscopo sound kind of sounds like Episcopalian. That's why that is a joke. Oh, I see. Mantis, Episcopalian. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I can actually get to that scroll. I wonder what it is. Oh, I, I actually did think that this was smoke. <laughs> wow, there's so much more to this than I expected. An elephant? Problem Child reference? Or it might have been Problem Child 2. Whichever one has uh, Michael Richards. Excuse me. <laughs> Carol and the Carolers. seems that I was getting tired of doing the uh, blending effect here. What? What is the bubbly god doing here? I'm so confused. There's a cactus uh, singing I am a cactus to the, the, the tune of uh, La Cucaracha, and there's the bobbly god saying hi um, and not actually doing anything. Oh, and the cactus hurts you if you touch it after the first song. Wait a minute, I thought this was in the other direction from that. What? Yeah, it looks like I uh, screwed up my board mapping a little bit here. Unless it's supposed to do that. See what happens when I throw the chair in the fire. Oh god, it screamed. That's horrible. Oh, check out that awesome candle 
animation. Designer lion shaped toilet. Color coordinated. FDS, that's uh, an acronym for uh, Feminine Deodorant Spray, in case you didn't know. Also, Flaming Donut Software. He has a trophy for masturbating. I wonder which one that is. Can I seduce her? I wouldn't put it past myself. Oh, I haven't gone through this other door, have I? Creature from above. Blink-182. If you understand this stuff, let me know, because I am perplexed. Oh, I get that reference. That's from Evil Dead. Mr. Potato Head is not a vibrator. This is much more bizarre than I was expecting. That, combined with the fact that I don't actually remember much of making this, makes me wonder what was going on with me at this point in my life. I would have been maybe a junior or maybe sophomore in high school. Guess I was probably drinking a lot. Ah. Yeah. Um that's based on a, a girl that I went to school with. Joey is a crackhead. I don't know who Joey is. Big Bad John. Harold, turn up the mic. That sounds like a phrase, but I don't know. I guess he's referring to, uh, because it's an H, it would have to be a backwards H shape, and there isn't an ASCII character for that. And that's from a Monty Python, uh, Dirty Fork sketch. Whoops. Okay. Lots of people claiming that they're not the same person as someone else in here. Wait, I do? Oh, I guess I do. I wasn't paying attention. Oh man, this picture implies that Leonard and Miranda have a child. Okay, I think this may actually be where the 
where I stopped making it. Because I think I've been everywhere that I can go from here. Oh, I know why there's an elephant here. Because the corn is as high as an elephant's eye. It's like that, um, when Bart's Comet was the size of a chihuahua's head, and there just conveniently happened to be a chihuahua standing there. I could just go around this loop forever. Um, let me see if there's anything else in the game beyond that. Acid. Oh, I see acid as opposed to base. Uh. Yeah, I think that was it. Object-oriented programming? Why is it called that? Okay, yeah, I think I got to the point where you find Leonard and he's not doing anything evil and then I, I couldn't really figure out where to go from there. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, <laughs> this commentary did not go quite the way I expected, but I hope that you got something out of it. Llama Masters 3. Too bad it was never finished. Or not too bad, perhaps. Bye.